Hello everybody, and welcome back to our Von Rahar playthrough in the E4 Embinar mod. And I think it is time that we change this playthrough around to make it a little bit different now. And I think it's time for uh, Dasvas of the Crouching Shadow to finally change the Raj forever. The time has come, the state is rearranged. No one still works in the ministerial divisions that manage the Prabhya and Sanatia. These halls have now been repurposed for whatever is needed, parties. Meetings on internal affairs, foreign policy, the state is now a central unit and we must only administer our own lands, with our vassals being just that, vassals. It is the end of the Raj, the times have changed. So I think with Dasvas of the Crouching Shadow, he's calm and he understands the situation. The only way to become stronger is to let the Raj fall apart and get rid of the entire mechanic entirely. So. As you can see, the command is expanding really fast over to the west and east, coming down south, so we need the change. We lose stability, we change to an autocracy now, so we do lose the Raj, which kind of helps us out a lot, getting some more governing capacity. We do lose monarch administrative skill, but that's fine. We can make up for it. And it makes all of our regular Prabia and Sanatia just regular vassals is actually way better. So let's do it. Now one minus one stability. Raja is now abolished. Losing the expand the Raj cast his belly as well, sadly, but what can you do? And I feel like this is the best course of action for the playthrough. So that's why I'm gonna do it. Everyone's leaving the coalition against me now too. Oh, and our heir just died immediately afterwards. Incredible. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. We're super overextended as well. Now the nobles are feuding. We just need to get our stability up. We need to get our vassals liking us again. Starting with Banjaral. See you. I am also thinking maybe I should break some of the vassals. Because this is kind of broken in a way, getting all these guys, but... It's fine, we'll keep them for now. It sucks that it has to turn out this way, but... You know, it's just what has to happen. And we did lose... Tachina because of this as well, so... We are at war with Shenral now. Even though Shenral is our vassal. I've never seen something like that before. So we're fighting Shenral. I'm just gonna like peace out, man. Like, <laughs> that's kind of confusing. Let's just take like some money. I'm actually kind of curious. What can I do to my own vassal now that I'm at war with them? Can take their land. That's fine, we'll just take war reps. And he's back to a vassal again. Awesome. And now we can start annexing people once they're over 190, and I think the 10 years has been reset. Yes. So now we gotta wait for all of them. We can marry as well, which helps out. Get Chichina married. Just let me know down in the comments below how you feel about this. You know, if I should, um, you know, release some vassals or if this was like a bad idea. You know, just let me know. Just wasn't sure what I was going to do with this playthrough because a lot of bad stuff has happened. We are a little worried at the moment because we are about to have internal conflicts right afterwards. We do have a lot of land down here, and our force limit is insane. Like, look at this. We can have up to 111 force limit. Thing is, is we can't even afford it. Our economy is solely relying on war reps from Bavari over here. Banjara wants to be a march. We say no. Oh, and we are severely over the limit. I completely forgot about that as well. 
because they actually do count as normal. So I think I am just going to get rid of some people. Start with you guys. Maybe get rid of the Jadari alliance as well, even though you've been a friend for so long. Goodbye. I think we'll just keep the minus three. We are just down to our vassals now. But our governing capacity is now up to 500, so we can state things. Okay, good. The peasants war. We need to get to one stab for that. And look at that. Inner Rahan. Stated. Perfect. Then we can get Sar Sarkashabid and Avahiyabiyah. Something like that. Get those stated. Awesome. Once we get enough admin, we will core all of it. It will be looking good. Hopefully. We also have Sartazia as well. And this will definitely help with our income. Once we're able to do it. It's just the last two over here. Shenral really hates us. Yeah, it is a... We're in a very precarious position at the moment. As you can tell for like the last six episodes or so. Oh. Awesome, and we rolled Ravenar. You know what? Maybe this is a new dawn. A 555 named Ravenar. Let's do it, baby. I wonder what he's going to be when he grows up. We're now calm and righteous. I'm going to boost my stab. Truce just ran out, too. We are getting manpower back. 445 each month with actually is not that bad. Let's look at the Ascension Cape. All of this is going to cost a ton, but if we can get it cored up in the meantime, it's going to help out a ton. We just have a really poor leader at the moment. Hmm. But he is Midas touched as well. Can transfer trade power too, but it's too close. I'm just glad that we're going to be able to actually annex our vassals now. I think I'm going to get Harusad Bola first. Because they do have a lot of rich land. These right here. Yeah, that's really, really good. But we are severely over our Diplo right now. I might just get rid of Tutina. Yeah, they have like one troop. They do have a really good city though, which I am worried about. It's still gonna be rough. But we are making steadily some more cash here. Gonna lose that so we can get some more free dev. Then summon the Diet immediately. Fire somebody. A natural scientist. Goodbye. Then get a mage instead. Help with power costs. Helps with coring. Helps with tech. We also need to get our institutions up now. Because we need to... We have to rush... Printing press as well. Yeah. It's not good. can placate you, so you can start paying us. There you go. Even marry you. Once you're not disloyal anymore. Oh, we can lose inflation for free as well. Oh. Well, that's awesome. Does he still do the monetary reform? <laughs> Give the king free reigns to reform the economy. <laughs> immediately just died. He can't take it anymore. Hmm, let's see. So we can marry you. 
marriage with you as well. It's only you that's left. I mean, I think we will be fine. For now. I don't think the commands are going to jump in soon, but they still have a not-so-very-lackluster amount of troops at the moment. As in, they would completely demolish us, if possible. We're going to take this combat. Go back to drilling, because we still need manpower. Yeah, let's get some more men ready. Get like 8k more. I'm really terrified at the moment. Because they're golden palace scholars. I think we won't take anybody for now because we just need admin the most. Yeah. So let's just wait on that. Get you guys focus in the capital. I think we definitely can recover. We're about to get a disaster soon. Because we're constantly below 50% manpower, so they just keep rising up. But we are now able to handle our own economy at this point. Down to level 1 advisors turning off all our forts. <laughs> oh boy. Let's try and find a good spot for this institution we're going to be deving, though. You are 50, which is actually not that bad. Let's go check in the development tab. Setsigand. Where are you at? You're not stated. So I'd rather go for Sefahan. Right below. Right here. 42, cotton, farmlands, humans. We could do that. I would like to dev up Sardika down here. It's not stated at the moment. Yeah, we could do you. Right next to Paru Samal. Already has our um, encouraged development too, because I forgot about that. So I am going to dev push. Let's go, let's check if there's any malices so far. No, we are A-OK -okay to go ahead and do this. God, this is gonna hurt. Let's shift between Diplo. Oh, man. We're so damn close to getting the printing press. We just wasted a lot of our points. Hopefully, hopefully once we're able to, we can get Ravenar on the throne again. Maybe he can bring it all back. Here's hoping. We do have a good amount of money and men at the moment. So if the command did attack, which they're not going to for a bit, because they are eating the Jia and Cthor down here. Looks like Cthor took Sarasong for himself. Oh, his independence is guaranteed. That makes it even better. We just gotta wait to annex these guys, which is gonna be 82. So we just, just gotta have a little bit of patience. Let's get you switched out going over here, and you have an extra guy. Get you moved up this way. Let's get some more men. Get up to 12. Ouch, we're gonna have to take that corruption hit. Let's tune that down. About like 10 per month. We'll make it though. We can't even get to the max relations here for integration. Due to aggressive expansion. Yes! Free stability. Let's go. We 
I can influence for 25, so I'll do that when we need to. Can actually start converting these Jads to now. It's kind of weird though, because they stopped at just two provinces. I thought it was going to be more. I don't think switching to the the Jad religion is going to help at all right now, so we're not going to. <laughs> Statesman just died. Let's get you. The Darsigal. Still hates our guts. Yeah, there are three techs ahead on Diplo, so that's why. But yeah, once the war ups are gone, we're gonna be screwed. Maybe I could get Induvi first. Uh-oh, here comes the coalition. Here it comes! Yep. They insulted us as well. The Raj is in as well. So, uh... Yeah, this is gonna be great. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, here comes more of the Coalition members. I think we are strong enough to handle ourselves. Funny enough, we do have a ton of people in the Coalition, but it's just mostly our... Actually, yeah, we have a ton of people in here. We could do a Coalition for the Command, but... Honestly? If only Bavari was in it. Yeah. Because I'm going to declare a Coalition on them, but then I'm just going to get Coalitioned myself. So I'm not really sure what to do. No, I'm not deleting Haramar. What am I, crazy or something? But yeah, we're severely lacking in manpower. And there is the Coalition firing. It's going to be even more of an uphill battle, but I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.